Thank you, Congressman S Smith. Uh, first of all, let me acknowledge your tireless work on behalf of human rights, justice, human dignity. You are authentically the conscience of this Congress, and I'm so grateful for your leadership and, and deep friendship. Um, Mr. Speaker, as you walk down this aisle, as I just did, if you'll notice this beautiful rostrum in this well where we speak, along the sides of the rostrum here are a couple of words. They express the deepest noble sentiments of what it means to be an American. Union, justice, peace. But there's another word that's often overlooked, and it's right here. It says tolerance. And we're living in a very interesting age. We're living in, in a certain sense, a very divided age. We seem to be struggling with our narrative as a nation, particularly politically. But something beautiful is happening. There is a new momentum among this new generation that is coming up that is wrestling with these deeper questions as to how you build a more just nation. How you include people who have been left out. How do you struggle for peace? How do you find authentic freedom, liberty? Tolerance. Creating the space for protection of that sacred space of conscience, of deliberation that we have in this body that is built upon a fundamental foundation of life. The protection of the ideals of life. We cannot say that we are going to include everybody and celebrate diversity, except for them. The littlest ones, the smallest ones, the most vulnerable ones, the unborn child, and the mothers that carry them in their womb. We have to do better. The young people cannot reconcile this paradox. They can't. That's why tens of thousands of them are going to come here next week, and a number from my home state of Nebraska, and I'm very proud of them, and they're going to do the American thing. They're going to exercise their civil rights for the most noblest of sentiment, namely tolerance for the most innocent, for the most vulnerable. And they're going to say to us who are older and who have to shepherd this nation, please, please open your hearts and minds. We have to do better. We must do better. And no matter how deep the problem no matter how severe the circumstance, we should be loving enough, caring enough, big enough, and we certainly have resources enough to be a community that cares and loves and helps, no matter how difficult the circumstances. I yield back. Thank you. Thank you very much.